Okay, boys and girls, are you ready to get started on some math? Today is Tuesday, September 29th, 2020, and we are on lesson 1-4. So you should have your workbook pages that look just like this. Yours is on page 17 of your volume 1 workbook, okay? So if you don't have those, pause the video now and get your work your worksheets, okay? Let's get started. Our solve and share says, Chips the chipmunk found five nuts. Draw five nuts in the tree. Draw a circle around the colored box that shows how many nuts chips found. Tell how you know you are correct. Okay, so it wants us to draw the five nuts that chips found. I'm not too worried about drawing nuts. I'm just going to use counters. Okay, so you can just draw circles if you like. How many do we need? Five. That's right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Is that five? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Great. Now we need to circle the colored boxes that show five. Let's count and make sure we don't get this wrong. Okay, let's see how many are colored here. One, two, three, Four. There's only four colored here. I'm counting and checking just to be sure. This can't be the one we need to circle. This should be the one we need to circle, but let's make sure, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Five boxes are colored, so this must be the right one. Great job. Was that easy or what? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Good job. Let's move on to visual learning. All right, here we go. Let's focus on the screen and watch the video. Make sure you're paying attention because you're going to have to answer questions. Tell a counting story about what you see. Here is one story. There are oranges on a branch. Let's count to see how many oranges there are. One, two, three, four. There are four oranges. How do you know you have not left something out? What should we do to make sure we don't leave any out? Like I said before, we can count and check. We can count and touch each orange, so we make sure we've counted each one. Let's see what it says in the triad. Drag arrows to count each orange. Okay, so we're going to drag some arrows to count each orange. One, two, three, four. This is just like counting and checking, right? That's right. Let's move on. Each orange is marked with an arrow. How can you find out how many counters there are? Well, we can count them, right? Count and touch. One, two, three, four. But there were four oranges, so there's probably four counters, right? You can count them. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are four counters. If you count them in a different way, will there still be four counters? We've talked about this before, right? It doesn't matter which order you count them in, there will still be four. But we think it's best to start on the left and count this way, right? To kind of have an order to the way we count. But there's still going to be four, no matter which way you count them. Let's find out. One, two, three, four. There still are four counters. How many sections are shaded in the five frame? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four. There are four sections shaded in the five frame. Let's count to find out. 
One, two, three, four. There are four shaded sections in the box. Why didn't you count the last box in the five frame? Why didn't we count that one? Because it wasn't shaded, right? It told us to count the shaded boxes. The last box was empty. You only counted the shaded boxes. Today you learned about the number four. You saw four oranges. You saw four counters. You saw a five frame with four sections shaded. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're on our first practice page. It should look something like this on the bottom part of your page, but you should see a star with a number one in it and an apple with a number two in it, okay? It says, have students color a box as they count each orange to show how many. And that's fine, but I like to count all the oranges and then color the boxes I need to color. I think we can do it that way, okay? So we're gonna count and check. Here we go. One, two, three, four. How many oranges are there? Four, so that means we need to shade how many boxes? Four. Now I want your coloring to be much better than mine. I'm just gonna color like this to show you <clears throat> that we're coloring each box, okay? Maybe I can do a little bit better job. Because if I shade it all in, then it'll cover up the lines and you won't be able to see it. So there's one, two, three, four. Four oranges and four boxes are shaded. Great job. Remember, your coloring's much neater than mine, right? Good. Okay. Let's go on to number two. Let's count and check. One, two, three, four, five. How many oranges? Five oranges, so we need to color how many boxes? Five boxes. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, if you need more time, just pause the video and finish your coloring. All right, good job. Let's go to the next page. All right, for number three, four, five, and six, it says, have students color a box as they count each piece of fruit to show how many. We can do that, but I would rather, I would rather count them all up and then color my boxes. How about you? Let's do it that way. Here we go. One, two, three, four, four oranges. So we need to color how many boxes? Four, good. One, two, three, four. Good job. Remember, go ahead and pause if you need more time to color, but color neatly. Okay. Let's count these apples on number four. Ready? Count and check with me. One, two, three, four. How many apples? Four apples. So how many boxes should we color? Four. I'm going to use red this time. One, two, three, four. Four apples, four boxes. Good job. Okay, let's count the pairs on number five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five pairs. So how many boxes should we color? Five boxes. Color with me. One, 
two, three, four, five. Great job, five pairs, five boxes. Let's move on to number six, the bananas. Let's count them. Count and check. One, two, three, four. Four bananas. So how many boxes should we color? Four boxes. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Four bananas, four boxes. Great work. Okay, last page, here we go. Okay, we're doing the same thing for numbers for numbers seven, eight, and nine. Count the pairs, color the boxes to match. Count the bananas, color the boxes to match. Count the apples and color the boxes to match. I want you to do this on your own. So pause the video now and do number seven, eight, and nine. And when you're done, unpause the video or play the video and we will do we will go over it together okay do that now pause okay we're ready let's check it out so let's count these pairs one two three four five there were five pairs so you should have colored how many boxes Five boxes. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay. For the bananas, let's count them. One, two, three, four. How many bananas? Four bananas. How many boxes do we color? We should color four boxes. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good job. Does your, pa does your page look like mine so far? Good. Okay. Let's count these apples. I better use a different color so I don't get mixed up. So I've got to count and check, right? Let's count the apples. One, two, three, four, five. Five apples, so I need to color how many boxes? Five boxes, that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome work. Okay, on number 10 it says have students draw four or five oranges. Then color boxes they draw each orange to show how many. So you need to decide do you want to draw four or do you want to draw five? Okay, go ahead and do that now. I think I'm just gonna take some counters because I'm not very good at drawing circles. And I think I'll do five. One, two, three, four, five. You can do four if you like. Okay. So if I made if I did four, if I did five oranges, how many boxes do I need to color? Five, that's right. One, two, Three, four, five. All right, great job. We're all done and you did an awesome job counting four and five. You did so well. We're all done. Have a great day. Go enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to, to do your homework and, and turn it in, okay? And I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.